Hello and thanks for um, staying with us. We are staying on election matters across um, 28 states of the country that will be having gubernatorial elections and 36 states of the country that will be having um, House of Assembly, Houses of Assembly elections. But let's turn our attention now to Benue State, where the Commissioner of Police, Benue State Command, CP Wali Abbas, has reassured residents of the state of their safety while they go out to perform their civic duties. Now, um, CP Wali Abbas joins us live on the news. Good to have you join us. Um, I want to be sure that CP Wali Abbas can hear me. I'm just in the cage, sir. Yeah, I'm hearing you now. All right, thank you. All right, so let, let yeah, me ask the, you, um, the, the preparation yeah. of, of security, of security officers and the police especially, um, for this election in, in Benue? Yeah, we have, uh, I just suddenly before this, uh, this interview, I just returned from the INEC office uh, with other sister agencies, the head of sister agency, where we had a very useful and robust uh, discussion with the, with the REC. Uh, if you could remember, during the last presidential election, we try our best to ensure we put adequate security in place. And that was why we did not record any casualty or any infraction during the election. This time around, we have replicated the same architecture and we try as much as possible to go ahead to correct little, little infractions during the election. Yeah, we have met and uh, we have been able to put adequate security in place. Once I want to thank the Inspector General of Police for providing us both material and asset uh, resources to be able to contain any infraction, if there is going to be any. Because one, I don't even emphasize any problem because with what we have on ground, especially the one we had during the presidential election, coupled with the fact that we have been able to rejig and go ahead further. I'm sure with what we have on play, in place, we will not be able to have any issues. However, I want to use this opportunity to tell the Benue people that uh, they should not be afraid of coming out to exercise their voting rights. We have enough security. Like I've said, we have almost 5,102 polling units to cover. And from the assistance we receive from the Inspector General of Police, I think we can boast of more than, than 6,200 men to be deployed for this election. We are not only deploying. Apart from the polling units, we have key response squad that have, we have uh, in place in all the senatorial districts, the three senatorial zones. In case of any eventuality, they will be there to assist and to come up to ensure we have it free. People should not be afraid. People should come out and exercise this, they are right. I've been able to talk to the political players. We don't have any other state. This is the only state we have. Everybody is to eschew violence and embrace peace. It is the only state, and we must all come well, together if, if to I ensure quickly come in, we um, CP Abbas, have... Benway State already had security challenges even just before this election. Um, the governor over and over again has continues to cry out um, because of that security challenge. You just mentioned that you'll be deploying over 6,000 men um, for over 5,000 polling units. If you do the math, it's not even up to two people, uh, two officers per polling unit. How, how, how sufficient is that to guarantee security? Yeah, I want to tell you that there is no place where we don't have threats. It's not peculiar to Benue State. But we have been able to understudy and analyze our threats area. And we have been able to take care of them. Now, let me tell you one thing. Here in Benue, where we have these issues, we have a combination of uh, security agencies. It is not only the police. We have police, we have the civil defense, even we have the military. Those areas where we are emphasizing problem, that people, these bandits, or the misplants may likely come out to do it, we have been able to take care of that. I want to remind you, during the presidential election, uh, we, we analyze areas where we likely have threats. Yeah, we have been able to identify Boko area because of the incessant attack of these uh, cultists. 
These we have been able to take care of. Before the election, we were able to pick almost 53 of them. And they have been charged to court. And that was why, during the presidential election, we don't have any issues from Goko area. And I want to tell you that around the old states, we have in place adequate security. We have, like I've said, we have robust relationship with other sister agencies. We have civil defense, we have immigrations, we have customs, we have DSS. We have all come together and uh, have agreed that there is need for us to come together and ensure we in place adequate security that can ensure each free election. That we have been able to do. And like I've said, I want to use this opportunity to tell the people of Benue that they should mm. please come out and exercise their voting right. The situation right. is clear enough. I, I'm, I'm we sure, have been able to I'm create sure an enabling environment. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they are listening yeah. to you and I'm sure that they will also give, um, give their opinion um, during, you know, after this election. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, CP Wali Abbas of Benway State Command.